Hi everyone and welcome to part 23 of the Sands of Time. Um, as you might be able to tell, I've got a new microphone. Unfortunately, <laughs> when I played the game, um, my voice didn't record, even though I'd sorted out my settings, but they'd gone off anyway. Uh, so I'm, I'm going to have to make sure that my, my settings are correct each time. So I'm having to overdub this and uh, try and get uh, this to be synced. Now I'm looking here uh, for the uh, Christmas tree because apparently I'm uh, looking online the Christmas tree wasn't shipped because we had this problem last time it wasn't shipped with seasons but they gave it to us free on the Sims 3 store so I went over there and uh, got the Christmas little Christmas package thing tree and what have you and uh, installed it um, but I was looking here for it to shove it in the game so that we can have it in our family inventory uh, for for next time um, but I couldn't find it so we gave up so there we go but um, I'll, I'll try and uh, do the audio of this how I'd done it when I played now he wanted to go to Shamps the Sims but of course we've got um, a thing an adventure for um, Egypt so I wasn't sure uh, what to do really he's okay with his job he doesn't need anything um, so he wanted to make five snowmen he's made two but it's only come up that he's uh, got one he wants to master his athletic skill as well and there's the snowman thing so we're getting to build uh, another snowman but he does have to go to work I believe today so we'll uh, see what happens As even though I um, I've already you know, played this so I'm basically I know what happens I don't really like doing it that way because um, I know what's going on it's, it's a shame I think I was looking here actually for um, the, uh, the fishing thing it's a shame that that's iced over uh, there's no bills to pay so I can't remember what I was looking for now Oh, I think we was going to take him I was going to take him to the um, elixir place but yeah because it's before six in the morning yeah we'll go to Alistair's elixirs and sundries to see uh, what potions there are available so. might be able to get something that will help us on our travels so I think I've got him to do a, a random snowman here to see what else he could come up with and he ended up doing a classic one anyway <laughs> never mind I've got a motorbike sound I must get rid of that thing. All right, let's see what we can get. Oba Nunan, Laracus Salini Lashini, Lorgo, Morgog. Right, we've got invigorating elixir. We need that. <laughs> grab that and then there's a potent invigorating elixir so that will help us with our sleep and everything and um, our fountain of youth I'll get that one well, we, we can afford it so I think that's 777 Somalians so uh, that'll do
He wants to build these snowmen. It says he's built two out of five. And uh, he wants to master the athletic skill. That's 450, the snowman thing. Um, his athletic, he only needs one more point for that. So, um, not sure what we're going to do next. I think it was go to the uh, uh, library. Sorry about this, folks. <laughs> Oh yes, that's right. I was going to take him to get his um, uh, skill point for the um, for the athletic, but of course that can be done at any time, whereas Ooh. the snowman can't. So I thought, well, well, while it's snowing, we'll build the snowman. That's four hundred and fifty points. So. try and get that in first and uh, yeah he goes to work today and then he's got two days off so hopefully then we can uh, we can take him abroad let's get another snowman in do a, a random one and see what he comes up with All right, yeah, that's all gone off. That's why he's got a... <laughs> the eye, well, he did have the icon thing there to say it was a disgusting mess or something. But, of course, we've got a maid coming today. So she'll clear all that up. And we've got to go to work. So I'll cancel that out, take him to work. I actually didn't realise the time, so he was up quite early. Well, um, we'll put him on, um, hang out with uh, co workers. Right, while he was in work, uh, he w it came up that he wanted to get a rise. So I got rid of the snowman thing and put the uh, rise thing in because that was like a thousand lifetime points. So now he wants to improve his hand in this skill. So I'll shove that in. Um, that, or that was what he wanted to buy a venue. So... Uh, I did read all this and I can't actually see it <laughs> so anyway if you can see that then <laughs> please read <laughs> but at least he still only works um, three days a week I think I think it was from from seven till one or something so he got his rise and he got his little bonus Yeah, he needs um, handiness skill there. I don't know how much he's got. Oh, he's, he just needs the one point. And he's hungry. So, uh, that. They say the maid came, he's got rid of the, uh, the stuff on that table. They look smart, don't they? Uh, but he hasn't oh maybe the maid's still there then yeah he looks really smart i think he's got his own airplane or something with his name on the side if i remember right uh, but we'll take him out to a restaurant for something to eat because that will fill him up more than eating bread and jam oh the maid is still there so 
Oh, the sink's dirty, so well, hopefully the maid will do that. We've got our, <laughs> our, male, our male maid back. Because I think uh, the day before, which was like Winterfest, we had a, a female one. So we've um, we've still got a few hours before we can take him abroad. Yeah, because his um, energy is quite low, I thought I'd get him to take the invigorating elixir. Because it's only like, not even five o'clock, I think. And then we'll take him to the library to uh, get this handiness skill point. I'll find the library, there it is. <laughs> Try and get that. So that's for work. So he gets another raise. I think he's on handiness skill three or something. Yeah. It's strange after watching this. Um, I feel like to, <laughs> I need to turn it around like that. <laughs> but of course, it's already been recorded. That took absolutely ages. Oh, just in case you're wondering how come I've got gameplay audio and not my audio and I'm having to dub over, is because um, I've just started recording as two different tracks so it'll actually spurt out um, audio for the game and audio for my voice but because my microphone <laughs> wasn't so uh, I did actually tell it to record on this microphone but I don't know I don't know what happened there uh, so uh, it didn't record on my microphone but I did get the gameplay audio so that's why I've uh, that's why I've got the gameplay audio because I've, I've done it on two separate audio tracks which is handy otherwise I just I wouldn't have had any game sound at all a bit of a mess really isn't it <laughs> never mind the next one is fine because I've already recorded it and yes, it recorded my voice as well. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to take him home. I didn't quite get that point, uh, but we'll pop him, uh, give him something to eat, a uh, pemmican or something. I think it was dried, dried food. Uh, pop him into bed. Uh, medium quality dried food, just to stave off that hunger and then uh, pop him into bed. And there's food that's gone off in the fridge. At least the maid's cleaned the sink because the sink was filthy. I didn't realize the time. That's the maid there. It's like quite <laughs> late in the morning, but then he did uh, go to bed really sort of late, four or five o'clock, I think. 
Oh, we'll get him something to eat. We can take him abroad again now. So because he wants to go to China, I'm thinking we'll take him to China. Even though he's got um, adventure in Egypt. Travel. <laughs> Look a runky. Right, with China we can stay for eight days. So and it's not much really, so was that one thousand five hundred and fifty is it? Um, so that's not too bad. We can get our visa points up as well. Well, that's the uh, future stuff. We don't have any opportunities in right, in the future, so. Oh, So here we are back in China. And uh, he's got those points. He wants to earn level three Chinese visa. And that was, I think that was like 10,000. I couldn't see that there. So, look for adventures. Right, The Lost Way. Now, I can't see this to read it. That's the problem I've got now. Um, let's have a look. Yes, there's a, a sim who started to go to the martial arts club and she stopped going and uh, they want us to uh, have her or want John to go and talk to her and find out why she stopped going. I remember now. <laughs> and it's, uh, I think it's Sue Young Kim uh, to discuss the uh of why she's not going to the um the resolute fist thing and of course it took me a long time to read that and uh, i don't know what it says <laughs> so i'll have to edit that out i think <laughs> so it has to go and find her but obviously we're going to have to talk to her first i don't know if i've met her or if we've met her yet or not so I'll uh, knock on the door and uh, try and get our relationship up first uh, before we can talk to her about why she's not going to class anymore. <laughs> so off we go. I don't really like this type of adventure. He's just running around asking people things. Prefer him to go into a tomb. Should have gone to Egypt really. Never mind. We've got a tomb uh, adventure in Egypt and of course our visa points aren't as high as anyone else. I was just having a look to see if that was the person we wanted because the trouble with Sims 3 you end up visiting their homes and as you're on their way, they, they walk out and go somewhere. So I didn't want him going somewhere. Because I, I think it said he on there. Uh, but it is actually a she that we have to talk to. Seems to have to wait ages. Yes, 
yeah, when these little notifications and things pop up, because I'm doing this as an overdub, uh, the writing is quite blurry. Well, it is for me anyway, because I'm short sighted. Maybe I should put my glasses on or something. <laughs> but um, it, it is a little bit blurry. Although I can see it on screen when I'm playing, so I don't, I think it's just lower quality. So anyway, we have to get our, I'll get him inside first, I think, and then start talking to her. I think that is the one we've got to talk to. Just checking the name. I make sure I see what our relationship is like first. So what's that, a chat? Yeah, get him to <laughs> chat first. Zuby. And we'll find out if she's got a <laughs> sense of humour. A jinka Biba's fronslip fwibs. Boobat ooblet munch kabuna. Barnupi ala kabreknor. Chera chuchia kwa. Yeah, her, a green bar thing there. I don't think it's as high as we we should have it before you can ask her. Oh, okay. <laughs> he asked her anyway. Right. I can read that. <laughs> Lost interest. I can't read the rest of it. All I know or remember is that um, she can learn more doing it herself, and she's got uh, quite far in the uh, master in the uh, martial arts skill uh, without their help. So that's why she won't be going back because she's doing better on her own. So now he's got to report back to the other. Guy. And uh, tell him that uh, she's fine doing it by herself. Doesn't need you anymore. <laughs> or oh, she doesn't need the, the resolute fist, I think it is. So off we go back on our motorbike, hopefully. Yep. And we have no sound. So I might grab the audio from before and shove it in so that at least we get some motorbike sound. I don't know how far he is. Oh, there's the uh, special merchant. Need to go and see him as well while we're here because they sell different things to in the, what they sell in France and um, Egypt. Put him on a fast a little bit. <laughs> Right, so he's told me, what does that say? A convincing story. Um, I hope you guys can read this. <laughs> um, yeah, he, he basically says, oh, that's a shame. Uh, there's more to our uh, meetings and everything that, that meets the eye. And uh, she can uh, learn a lot more with us. Uh, later on it's just the first few weeks it's uh sort of beginner's stuff or something so he's got to go back now <laughs> and convince her to return to the resolute fist meetings oh dear uh, because uh, there are secrets and things that she can uh, that she'll find out or something like that I really don't like this sort of adventure. He's just a little messenger, isn't he? I don't want him to be a messenger. I want him to go into tombs and find treasures. Yeah, 
Yeah, probably run a bit faster. Kos Numala. Shasha. Oh. So now he's got to <laughs> build up his relationship with her, which is strange, really, because he was able to speak to her before. Um, so I do tell a funny story and hope that she's got a sense of humour. And I've crossed out to tell joke because just in case she doesn't have a sense of humour. <laughs> yeah, which she does, so back to tell a joke. <laughs> Skipa Tuni Brap Chornduza Zapdin Amabat Adawanaka Bibi Gribats I do a bit of uh, charisma Ambula uh, Discuss Adventures I think that one was Snagribi Ah Chala Ota Zafu Ubaz Wibi um Wibi Tonga Argo Yebzagwed Echa Dura Shishaba Jarius Hina Navupi Megrabop Taguni Vash Right now we'll try and convince her to go back to these meetings. Nabazin, where? Pendela Neeb. Jonah. Jonah Chush. Right, a wise decision. So, uh, yeah, she's gonna uh, give it another shot and go back. I'm not sure if he has to tell the other guy that she's going back or not. Um, but we'll soon find out. Yeah, so now we have to report in and tell him she'll be going back to the meetings after all. So I, hope, I think this might be the last bit on this and then he's got to go and look for another adventure. Probably run a bit faster. Mm -hmm. Zart. Oh. Zart <laughs> so he's earned his visa points and Somalians ancient coins. Oh, uh, that was it. I think increased relationship with that guy. So, so we haven't got another adventure. We'll have to go back to the uh, base camp and have another look at that board. I'm getting something to eat first. And I think I was having a look for... Oh, I was looking for the base camp, yeah. I'll have a look at the board then. Let's see what other adventures await us. So his lifetime happiness is still seven thousand there. All right, I was having a look. Yeah, we're nearly on visa level three, so then he'll get that ten thousand lifetime points. So we need to do another adventure. So our visa level goes up. Uh, 
That'll be like 17,000 then. We've got our meditative sleep thing and the steel bladder there. But it was the um, the hunger thing that I wanted to get him, so he's not quite so hungry. There's quite a few things on there really that we could do with. There's a, a, a not needing to take a, a shower as well, staying like clean for longer. Mind you, he's got those shower in a can, so they're pretty quick, aren't they? Uh, yeah. And yes, we had <laughs> trouble here trying to get an adventure. Really annoying because he's here for mm. eight days. Let's give it another shot. Oh. I was thinking of taking him fishing. <laughs> uh, that's what I was thinking of doing. And uh, the fish of the scholar. Yeah, he needs to catch um, a certain type of koi fish because I can't read the rest of that. And uh, so he has to go and uh, uh, catch a couple of fish. Uh, they take it to this woman who will put it in the uh, a meditative garden place or scholar's garden, isn't it? Uh, because they're lacking this certain type of fish. So we need to find out what the bait is for this type of koi. So I was having a look to see uh, if he had the fishing book that he could read to find out what the bait was. And we do have it. It's right at the bottom. <laughs> and uh, we have to get him to read that so we can find out and then we'll have to search to see where we can uh, catch these things. That was the one, I think. Yep, so uh, read that. And those are the, oh, the dragons, I think. And something else, it's a bit blurry. <laughs> so get him to, get him to read that. We can catch these fish. We need to get these visa points so that he gets uh, his uh, 10,000 lifetime points. But yeah, I was just having another look at Egypt. We're actually going into a tomb in Egypt. Which is what I really want to do. We haven't been there for a while. It keeps, we keep seem to be going from France to China all the time and we're way ahead with our um, visa points for France and China but not Egypt right so he's learnt that And uh, it tells you that I think it's a pomelo or something. <laughs> Sorry, it's rotten being blind, isn't it? <laughs> um, yeah, pomelo. So, uh, yeah, I think it, it told you told you where to look to find out what the uh, what it was. So it's a pomelo, and. Uh, I need to catch two of those. So I'll have a look, see if we've got any first. And we do. Got 12 of them or something. So now we've got to search to see where we can catch these fish. But um, that's right, yeah. I put him to bed first. Do that in the morning. seeing is that his energy is quite low put it on fast for a bit I want to call someone there 
<laughs> and don't know why. Yes, yeah, ten ten thousand for that. Right, I've got to find where these uh, fish might be. Let's go and take some uh, dried food first. I thought he'd have to go there to inspect, but it comes up, so that's okay. And as they're an unknown fish, obviously it's uh, something that he he doesn't know about, and he knows about these uh, koi at the minute because he's read the book. So if it doesn't come up with them, then we know we can't get them there. So they're unknown fish as well. I think they're unknown fish and some other fish. He must have read a, some other book then, because there's one fish that's coming up there. He needs this. I think it's Dotsu Koi or something. So yeah, he can get it there. So we'll use uh, pomelo on there. Can't find it. There it is. <laughs> Highlighted. The old fast of the sound of their feet running. Quite a way, isn't it? Right, so I think what we'll do, we'll end this episode here. Uh, I think this is where, more or less, where I ended it. So, um, sorry about the. Uh, audio and <laughs> and everything but uh, never mind next time it will be better so thanks for watching everyone if you enjoyed this episode <laughs> um, oh he's already caught he's already caught enough look even though it only looked like one he needed to catch two of them but anyway um again thanks for watching if you enjoyed this episode please hit the like button don't forget to comment in the section below and if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and uh, hit the notification bell so that you get all notifications in your inbox and uh, join me next time um, and we'll leave John here fishing <laughs> so I'll come back to him next time uh, join me next time for the next exciting adventure of the sands of time bye bye